What is up my spooky mates of YouTube? My name is Marcel from Aussie Horror and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the classic horror movie although I wouldn't exactly describe it as a classic per se Adam Age Vampire released in 1960. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. So I've got my little cheat sheet here. Released in 1960, Adam Age Vampire, directed by Anton Mejano and starring Alberto Lupo, Suzanne Lorette and Sergio Fantoni. The film is about an exotic dancer that's disfigured in a car accident. A scientist develops a treatment that restores her beauty, but in order to preserve her appearance, the doctor must give her additional treatments using glands taken from murdered women. The film currently has an Internet Movie Database score of 3.9 out of 10 and has a Rotten Tomatoes audience rating of 5%. Now, that's truly elite stuff. Even the tagline is bizarre. You'll gasp with horror, a spine-tingling motion picture only the Adam Age could produce. And also, I just wanted to clarify that due to the film's terrible audio quality transfer, I thought that the characters were saying the word Derma 25 and Derma 28 regarding the treatment for the disfigured uh, main character, but it's actually Serum 25 and Serum 28. And so a little later in the video, I constantly keep referring to it as Derma 25, but I legitimately thought that they were saying Derma 25. So you're gonna have to forgive me there. It's Serum 25 and 28, not Derma. But if you watch the same YouTube video that I watched, uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's very unclear as to what they're actually saying. The audio is just terrible. I had to clear that up for you guys. So with that all said, let's keep going with the review of Adam Age Vampire. Oh, you're probably wondering why the change of attire? Well, I had this video filmed in its entirety. I'd said everything I wanted to say. And then I like got home from work and I was like, you know what, I think I can redo this this part of the video simply because what I said in the original video isn't entirely accurate. So what I wanted to do was talk a bit about the positives of Adam Age Vampire and then get into the negatives rather than doing it negative to positive. So the positives for Adam Age Vampire. I really like the scoring and soundtrack and I'm not the only one that feels that way about this movie because it's actually been taken by several people and spliced onto the top of other movies or even home movies and that does not surprise me at all because I love the noir, film noir jazz vibe from the uh, soundtrack. I thought that was definitely a highlight of the movie. Something else that I loved about Adam Age Vampire is there's this five minute period in the middle of the film and it's basically smack bang in the middle of uh, the version I watched at least which is the the 87 minute long version of the film where the doctor undergoes the transformation and then the time lapse of that transformation it's really grotesque and for the time period I think it's fantastic and really graphic like he basically decays into this welted mess a mad creature born of the atomic age it's almost it reminds me sort of more of a mummy definitely not a vampire I didn't get vampire at all and I think <laughs> that's one of the funny parts about the movie is that there's no vampire in the movie whatsoever but the transformation sequence is definitely a highlight of the movie for me. And there's a shot after he's transformed where he takes a scalpel off of the table and like flashes it to the camera. You will freeze as you watch a warped scientist become transformed into a godless beast when his bloody scalpel probes the forbidden secrets of all. I really liked that shot. And then the atmosphere, a scene later where he approaches this woman on the street and he's like got this big coat on it's almost like a trench coat and he's got a hood on so you can't really see his face and he attacks the woman and the atmosphere of that scene I wish the rest of the movie was like that it's really deeply shadowed and it evokes this really dark atmosphere and if they had have taken that and made more of the movie about that and that sort of atmosphere it would have been far more effective what else did I like about the movie? Uh, the conclusion was okay. I, I liked the fight scene, even though it was kind of goofy and you get that really old school vintage horror fight scene vibe from it. 
I liked that. And I felt some degree of sympathy for the character of Sasha, who's this sort of simple gardener. He effectively is the hero of the day at the end of the movie, even though he's put into cuffs. Um, <laughs> what else did I like about Adam Age Vampire? I'm not too sure what else I liked about the movie. I didn't hate it, and I think a lot of my enjoyment of the movie came from the fact that I simply love these old school, older style of horror movies. They just don't make movies like this anymore. My biggest criticism of the film is the audio quality. Instead of watching the DVD that came in this vintage horror collection pack, so I, I can't say for certain about the quality of the transfer of Adam Age Vampire on this, the free versions that are up on YouTube that you can go watch as the film's in the public domain, the audio quality is utterly atrocious. You understand about 50% of the dialogue, as I briefly touched on in the intro. The audio quality for the dialogue in particular is just terrible. Uh, I could barely understand anything, hence why I thought it was Derma 25 and 28 instead of Serum 25 and 28. The soundtrack quality isn't too bad, but there's been some severe deterioration in the quality of the dialogue, and that really detracted from the movie. Another thing that I think detracted from my enjoyment is the fact that it was just way too long. Even though there are three versions of the film, uh, a 105 minute long version of the film that they originally aired in Italy, and then the first version that they brought over to the United States, which is about 87 minutes long. I watched that version, and even that truncated version is too long. It's terribly paced. There is a lot of nothing in the film, like all the scenes with the police bar, pretty much the ending, you didn't need to have those scenes in the movie. And then there is a, I think it's a 67 minute long made for DVD version that they released in the United States. I think maybe if you're gonna watch this movie that's probably the way to go. The acting isn't spectacular, the English dub is terrible. I couldn't find any information about this, but if this is an English dub it's one of the worst English dubs I've ever heard. The voice acting is not good, but if this is the original, if this is the dialogue from the original movie, did you not think to do like a couple of extra passes? Was that not in the budget? But all of these problems with this movie, they come with the old school horror aesthetic. They come with these old horror movies and you basically, you're lucky to find a, a good capture of these films. Part of everybody's love for these old school horror movies simply comes from having to deal with these issues with the films. Not every film not every old school horror film is going to have that Universal Monsters level of quality. Oftentimes they're going to be B grade, C grade or even D grade movies and I think we've collectively learnt to accept that if you want to watch some old school horror movies you're going to have to get through some Z grade schlock every now and then. And I think Adam Age Vampire may be almost at that Z grade level, at least with the current iterations of the film that you can watch. Fire a volley through the window pane. You will gasp as lust and madness stalk the dark and screaming night in Adam Age Vampire. Maybe I should rewatch the the shorter, extra truncated version of the film, and maybe the transfer quality is better. Maybe the audio quality is better as well, and the pacing is definitely going to be better. But it depends what they cut out of the movie. All in all, though, I think Adam Age Vampire is worth watching if you are after the most atrocious grade of old school horror movies. There are a couple of moments here that I felt warranted the, the viewing of the film, but maybe it's one of those movies that's better left chopped to pieces and used for like a vintage horror movie highlight package, because the transformation sequences in this are pretty cool. Even the transformation sequence at the end of the movie, whilst not as good as the one in the middle, it's still pretty cool and you love to see those style of effects. So I want to know what you guys have to say. If you've ever watched Adam Age Vampire before, let me know in the comments below. I genuinely can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Marcel from Aussie Horror, and I will catch you guys around.